this bright idea to leave early ah! because of, because of the five hour drive and stay at grandma's. And you know, then life happened. So I guess we won't be going to grandma's tonight. <laughs> we'll see what time we get there tomorrow. I started out with these overhead walking lunges. You hold the plate above your head, make sure that your knees are right over your toes, not extended beyond your toe. Um, just try to keep your balance, be stable, keep your arms high over your head, and lunge. Next, I went to these sumo deadlifts, which is actually one of my favorite moves. Using two kettlebells, you keep your toes pointed wide, your legs spread further apart, and squeeze up at the top, and this will get you a good, this is really good for rounding out your shape. Single leg box step up. So when you go step up on the box, push through your heel, Bring your other leg all the way to the top, squeeze at the top, and you can keep your leg on the box the whole time or you can take it off, but um, do each, each side and this enables your legs to get an equal workout because sometimes we have imbalances, this will make sure that you stay equally balanced. top of the kettlebell. Hold it like you're trying to break the top, keeping everything straight, arms locked. You're going to swing but push through your hips so the, the hips are what it should be doing, the swinging motion, not your arms. So swing with your hips. And two push-ups. Just ten push-ups. Go down as far as you can. Now I, when I started I couldn't do push-ups at all. You can always start on your knees and just do what you can and you'll build it up eventually. Seated in and out. So this one you're going to engage your core. You can hold on to the bench. Bring your knees up to your chest and stretch your legs straight out. Bring them in again. You will feel this in your core. So just keep the core tight and push through. And burpees. This is a full body movement. You're going to hop up and then put your feet, hands on the ground. You're gonna do a push-up. It's not really a push-up. You're just pushing up off the ground, but let your chest touch the ground. You can also do this with reaching towards the sky when you jump up, just for a little extra challenge. But burpees, just remember while you're doing it, you're working your whole body, so it's worth it. It does a lot for you. And box jumps, one of my personal favorites. Not. <laughs> So jump up on the box, you can start using whatever size of box that you want. If it's just a small one, just start with a small one. On these box jumps, you can do them quickly and just kind of bounce off, off, the, off the box and back down. Or you can do like I'm doing and step up all the way up. Um, extend your hips at the top, then step down and keep going. But just be careful and just start with whatever size of box you are comfortable with and then go from there. And last movement of the workout is dumbbell thrusters. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with these because they do so much good for everything. They work your core, they work your arms, your shoulders, your legs, everything. So when you go down, squat, pushing your hips back, make sure that your knees do not go over your toes, and come up, thrusting them up into the air. And just remember, when you're doing these, it is for a good cause, it works everything, and they're a great movement.
And I just had some extra time and pull-ups are what I struggle with the most, so I decided to do some assisted pull-ups before leaving. I did three sets of 10 that day, and um, I really need to keep working on these. Okay, so disclaimer for the remainder of this video, this is not my house. We were staying in an Air Airbnb as we're trying to get transitioned over, job interviews, moving, all that kind of stuff. And this house is not my house, and it's cluttered. It was the older woman's house, and although she was a very nice host, um, it's not my house. I don't have anything to say. Nobody likes my story anyway! Hashtag salty. <laughs> You started this. I know. I want something sweet, but I'm not willing to go. I'm not okay, I'll go and, and you stay here. Yes. Is it, how far is ice cream? How far? How far is ice cream? I don't know. I'm on my phone. I'm on GPS. We're gonna have coffee. This is called self control. This is when you want it. Can I try something? Yeah, okay. That's a good thing about not getting the junk food. I didn't get any junk food at the store, so now, although I want it really bad, there's not, it's not an option, you know? When you want something really bad, it's just not an option. So this is good practice for that. You know, controlling yourself, because I am not willing to go out of the store, out of the store, out of the store, out of the house to get it. What cream it is. Really, if you look on my phone, there's no telling what kind of weird things you're gonna find. No, I want to eat. You want something sweet, and there's absolutely nothing sweet to eat. You make some coffee. Like and then a little bit of creamer. Put this, and then for your little sweet treat, which there's some blockies in here. Sprinkly whipped cream with sugar. Then we're gonna look and see if there's any cinnamon in this house. And look, my whipped cream is melting. My whipped cream is melting. Right here, ground cinnamon. Jackson, no, don't eat that. Jackson. about the whipped cream and you'll get ice cream. Mm. I feel like those devil stuff is getting chills. Yeah, it is kind of weird. You already had ice cream today! Yes, you did. I don't care. Just fell on the wall. happened a few times because that's for sure not me. I mean there's one, two, three, four. I don't feel like I'm responsible for any of those. Nope. Any girl that's my age will, know, will remember the, the era of overplucked eyebrows. And um, I've been like trying to grow mine out because, see, right here. But like the whole thing. Cause like I did the whole, the whole pencil <laughs> then eyebrow thing when I was like, you know, what, seventh grade, eighth grade or whatever. And so now I'm trying to grow them back out. And because I read that like if you, what was this? the bushier the eyebrow, the younger you look. So anyways, I was watching one of my stories earlier and I was like, oh man, you can kind of see, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, like a shadow where just just this one is growing out, and um, so I'm torn on whether to go ahead and like pluck the rest, pluck it, you know, back a little bit because this one's not growing out, or just be patient and wait. 
But you know one thing I don't want is like, you know, those guys that have like a few chin hairs and they don't want to shave it. And so it's like, it just looks kind of gross because they're trying to grow it out, but it's just not, it's just not happening. <laughs> Anyways, I will say though, I feel like my eyebrows have come a long way in just the last few little, um, since I started growing them out, which actually probably been like six months. But anyway, anyone who is around the age of like 30 to 40 can probably relate to the pencil eyebrows.